Hello, I am LOLS Jack, and we are going to start a new factorial series of C Block. Uh, so I've recently been inspired by another YouTuber called Dosh Doshington. Uh, he makes some great content on Factorio, which I really like. And he recently just started playing C Block, and he had a couple designs that I loved so much, especially his beans of uh, able to extract power from the power of beans and I'm so sad that I didn't discover that because I just did a giant freaking uh, charcoal factory with green algae and then I did something with elder with farming to make charcoal it, 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 it was it was messy and I have played C block about three times I think two or three I can't remember uh, and it's always been on a server with online friends but I want to kind of see if I can speed run it and see what time I can get out of it uh, in terms of how I'm actually gonna do this whole series is it's not gonna be like my last series which I did a marathon death world playthrough where I recorded everything I did for this series it's gonna be I'm gonna try and make it easier for the viewer meaning I'll start a build I'll record the start I'll pause the recording Resume recording in the middle, show a couple things, maybe a mistake, pause recording, and then I'll resume recording as I'm finishing a build up. And that is lowest effort on my part, and hopefully it's the maximum amount of uh, enjoyable viewing experience. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to say let's get right into it. So, I have the official uh, C block. So here we are. This is the official C block by Trainwreck. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and go to the actual forum post. And we're going to go ahead and download the full pack. And so this is exactly the whole pack of what it is. I've already downloaded it. I'm going to go ahead and extract it. And so we have the actual mods of the pack. So this is the exact pack. We're not using any extra mods. We're going to use exactly what it gives us, and that's it. So it's a true C block speed run attempt. Kind of doing a speed run. I don't know. Uh, I have some plans after seeing some of, uh, yeah, and Kiwi Hawk too. Uh, nice. Uh, of doing some designs that I have planned. So I don't know how they're going to go, but. Uh, I don't even have my old blueprints because I'm on a new computer and my old C block blueprints are gone. So I don't really have any useful blueprints to work with. So it's going to be interesting. Mo uh, mods, what it gives me, going with no blueprints. I'm going to see how fast I can do it. And uh, we're just going to go from there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and make sure we have the right mods selected. So let's go ahead and update everything. And this is where the pause thing comes in. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have all the correct mods checked. And after the updates are done, I'll see you in just a moment. And we're back. That took uh, quite a bit of time, actually. So everything's all updated. Uh, I've d turned off the mods, such as auto deconstruct, you know, even distribution. I uh, use editor extensions to test stuff and, you know, squeak through is disabled. That's going to suck. That's not in the mod pack, so I can't use squeak through. Uh, I believe this is everything that's in the mod pack. Everything's checked, so everything's default. Have not uh, changed any of the mod settings. They are all default. So, I went, you know... Whatever, whatever it says is whatever it is. You know, default enable, whatever that is. Sure, that's, that's what we get. So, we're going to go ahead and start this boy, I guess. Uh, I guess we can get into it. New game. I'm... Oh, nothing. 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 Research Q. Well, we won't do Q. Oh, we're not doing marathon. Are you, are you insane? 
What's that cost? Oh my god, yeah, we're not doing that. Normal. Normal, 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 normal. Okay. Let's hit the random seed button a bunch. And we are going with 264161627. Let's go. This is a uh, quite interesting thing. So, uh, C block, Factorio, you know, it's uh, quite the interesting uh, map, as you can see. Not uh, too much to work with. Speed run time, let's go. So, I'm not going to explain too much. Uh, meaning, I expect you to know how to play Factorio, and I, I, I really don't, uh, want to have to explain shit. Uh, 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 see, I'm already, like, panicking. I'm like, I can't talk and build at the same time. It's not one of my gamer abilities, that, uh, a streamer ability, rather. Uh, I don't have that ability, so very difficult for me to uh... see I can't I can't do it talk and explain things at the same time like I, I literally cannot do it and see I'm already like messing up like like geez so C block the whole point of C block is to basically build Everything from nothing. And by nothing, I mean from the ocean. <laughs> and it's uh, quite quite an interesting thing. So we're going to go ahead and pause, and I'll be right back once I finish building these windmills. We're going to go ahead and stick with that just in case. We need to do some more landfill in a bit. Uh, let's crush some steratite. So we need to get some steratite. So that is made in something, something. Um, like, I really don't remember. Oh, we need to always craft that shit while we can. So, we're going to make an offshore pump. Electrolyzer. And let's stop crafting that. We're not even going to bother with the fish. Need a couple of these boys. Uh, short bump. Bing bong boom. Bing bong. And we need some power. There we go. And we go. We are cooking with gas, as they say. Do we even have inserters right now? I don't think so. Ooh, when do we get inserters? <laughs> Insert? Need near inserters. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, we need one of these boys. Oh, we need mineralized water. Gosh, it's been so long, boys. God, I don't remember anything. Okay, we'll be back in a moment when I got this shit running. <laughs> LOL. And we're back. So, as you can see, we do the wind. We suck out the seawater. We electrolyze it. We take the slag, take the slag out, put it to crusher. Burner crusher, that is. Burner crusher makes slag into crushed stone. Take the crushed stone, put the crushed stone into the uh, liquefier. Liquefier makes mineralized water. Mineralized water into random uh, ores. Then we can crush the ores. And then that gives us our first research. Oh my gosh, that thunder and lightning. That's what you get for living in Florida. Bing bong boom, bing bong. We need more than two. Come 
Come on. Yeah. There we go, buddy. Nice. Now we need to farm some algae. Quite a predicament we have, sir. Let's do another. Another row. Bam. Bing bong boom. Got the electricities. Bam! Yeah, long range. Oh, we can't squeak through that? Oh my god. There's no squeak through. <gasps> oh my god! And we'll be back in a moment when we have our brown algae. I went ahead and plugged down the rest of our uh, wind generators. And we got brown algae. Next, we need to make a circuit? Ooh, buddy. We need wooden boards. Oh, joy. What else? We can make a copper stuff now. So, this is going to take quite a while to make some wood. Uh, in the meantime, we can start crafting uh, wood blocks. Uh, oh, can we make it straight out of our hand? Yeah, we can handcraft that crap. Hell yeah. We need some copper, though. So we need to furnace it. And we need to... Basically... Get some of this ore into furnaces. Oh, we're getting there, man. <laughs> Bing bong boom. Getting there, getting there, getting there. How's the power luck? Power's good. Gonna make it yet? Hell yeah. Basic circuit board done. And we are on to the red science. What does this need? Cost, build a lab. that's easy and we have the burner inserters nice what was that oh it unlocks the inserters oh okay so you can finally automate that crap that'll be nice we're gonna go straight into it. Let's go for that. We'll be back in a moment when we have our inserters up. Apparently, we do not get adjustable inserters until we've researched this technology. So I have to redesign everything. We'll be back in a moment. We are almost there. We now have very basic copper and Iron plate production. Power's looking great. Uh, right now we are having to hand feed the uh, burner devices by hand with handcrafted cellulose in order to make sure everything's running. But this is fully, quote, automated, except for the hand feeding of the burner material. Uh, copper and iron plate production. B 
bing bong, it works. Uh, now it's time to start uh, getting some stuff. Maybe, uh, what's the plan here? To get these up, and then possibly steam up after. Maybe some charcoal. Charcoal, like, I want everything! I want it all. I want it all. Uh, but yeah, once we've uh, made some plates, we'll be back in a moment. It has come to my attention that I should already be scaling stuff up. So we're going to go ahead and make some more electrolyzers in this direction. Somehow. Somehow, some way we will. I don't know how, but we're going to. Considering that our power grid is at uh, 300, 400 watts, so that's, let's just say it's three electrolyzers is one, and we have three, so we can fit nine electrolyzers. So let's go ahead and build nine electrolyzers. Do, 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 do. Just a quick test of this, but apparently this is not good, because this is open system menu. So we need to figure out how to pause and unpause the recording without opening all the factorial menus. Good news, I just removed the factorial hotcut, short key hotcut, so now we can pause and unpause with a simple click on my keyboard to make this recording much easier to do. Uh, let's go ahead and finish these electrolyzer builds. Apparently, only a burner thing can only handle four uh, electrolyzers as seen in this Helmod blueprint. So we're going to go ahead and build eight of these uh, thingy mabobs and see how we can go. Oh boy, how do we do this? Um, we'll be back in a moment once I make my personal blueprint design. It has come to our attention that we're basically completely fucked until we really get this stuff rolling in the future with better longer inserters and better pipes and better designs and better belts and better splitters. This crap is taking a very long time. I am regretting my decision starting this series. It's an abomination. But it works. Maybe, maybe we should uh, fix it up a little bit more. What an abomination. Well, it works. How much does this feed? Let's find out. What? No. Oh. Figure it out. Oh, for one second, I gotta figure this out. So I wasn't able to figure out how to get it working, but I am able to figure out that I'm able just to set this to zero, and then this to one, and then it kind of tells me what I need. So if I set this back to zero, that resets, and that's good, and it lets me know I have an extra disparity of this, which means I would need, like, one of these to do something. But I'm not quite sure. I don't like that either, so... I don't know, man. Seems kind of crap to me. I don't know, but I basically give up. I couldn't figure it out. Let's see, you know, all this uh, crap. I'm just going to try and YOLO this stuff in the future. And we'll see how it goes. Okay. How are we doing there? What's this? Hydrogen's full. Why is the hydrogen full? Oh. Well, that would have helped if I was uh, not doing that. Let's go ahead and get, uh, start heading towards, uh, power and better stuff. So I think we can start handcrafting some stuff. 
maybe a couple blocks. That helped. They don't have filter inserters yet, so I'm really just scraping by by doing this. trip this is. Now we can make science. We have enough science packs to get two researches. Wow! Amazing! Isn't it cool, guys? Yeah. Um. <laughs> LOL military? Absolutely not. We want to head towards something like this. get our original power going. Maybe we'll do that next. Let's make another couple uh, wood blocks. Now that we've crossed the 10 science packs, we can start researching with an actual laboratory. And with that, we have basic logistics done, which allows us to use a basic splitter, which finally lets us to sort out some stuff. Ooh, uh, that'd be kind of nice to have, but we want to head straight towards uh, this to get the automatic ore crusher one. So let's go ahead and start heading towards ore crusher one. So we don't have to keep fucking manually doing all this crap. Look, I've been doing this the whole time. And it's really starting to get on my nerves. So let's go ahead and redesign some stuff here really quick so we don't have to hand feed this as much. And now we have resumed our super ghetto production. Whew, that took a while. And steam is done. Nice. Let's get right into that automated uh, ore crushers so we don't have to keep hand feeding these like this. Ugh. Now all we need to do is wait. Maybe we can start actually working on some uh, new designs for this, perhaps. Maybe just brainstorming it while we wait. And automation's done. We can actually now build some very useful things, such as the Ore Crusher 1s. Wow, it takes a lot of stuff. Need crushed stone all of a sudden. How interesting is that? Okay, am I getting it? Am I doing it right? Let's see. Yeah, I guess that does it. With the ore crushers updated, now the only things we need to really hand feed is the copper plate assembler, uh, furnaces. The furnaces and the... Yeah, that's really it, I think. So, nice. Automation! Yeah! Uh, next is gonna be starting towards to kind of automate the science a bit more here. So, maybe we need to do a little bit of a landfill do 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 like that. Uh, do we have assemblers? Yes, we do. Uh, we don't have that many circuits, but that is definitely what we are going to be doing. Darn diddly do, neighbor. But yeah, I'll uh, come back when we have automated science. And just like that, we have very, very bad automated science. Fully automated, with the exception of having to fill the furnaces up with fuel every now and then. Wowzers. Uh, let's try and figure out what we're going to do next. It looks like we're not doing too good on the electricites. Um, we've had a lot of moments where it's been spiking up and down quite horribly, especially when these guys turn on. Uh, it's, it's not good. 
It's not good. So we definitely want to start heading towards this green algae processing and try and get a plant up of some kind. But we also need landfill in the meantime, so I think we'll start trying to make some landfill first. Yeah. Let's start working towards steam power. I started doing a little design here, roughly 16 things. It's going to cause 4 megajoules to run. It's going to output 4, so it has a 10 megajoule output compared to our current, uh, I don't know, megawatt, uh, or joule, megajoules, I don't know. It, 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 it just makes, it makes. Uh, yeah, so this is everything we're going to need. We're going to need a lot of these, a lot of these, a lot of these, and a five of those just to make the mineralized water to feed these assholes. And even this, uh, making charcoal from that, which is going to come from that, which is going to come from that, which is come from the wood bricks. So yeah, we need to overproduce those a little bit, which looks like we will be. So it looks like we're going to be doing 16 of these guys. And uh, we're just going to hope this ratio is going to work out in the end. Let's start making everything we need. Uh, we we'll probably need landfill first, so... Maybe we'll save our plates to make some landfill farms to uh, get the washing plants go. Because we definitely need more room, as you can see. With water done, let's actually try and uh, uh, make some landfill. Um, let's actually see what's more efficient for landfill generation. Well, at least in terms of power consumption, this puts out 0.3, and this puts out 0.3. But as you can see, the power requirement is outrageous for the electrolyzers. So we're definitely going to be going with the water route. And there we have some very basic landfill production. Unfortunately, our power grid is not looking good at all. <sighs> These guys are taking 3.3 uh, kilowatts each, which is uh, about a third of one electrolyzer. So we just added uh, almost two electrolyzers worth of electricity to the plant here. So we're not doing good on electricity at all. We might have to be do, do some emergency, uh, maybe not quite emergency, but uh, hand feeding of a boiler with things we're scrounging up there. And maybe that'll help out and increase our power a bit. Well, this definitely works, but... It, I can't uh, really feed it permanent on a permanent basis because I'm handcrafting the fuel. In fact, I should actually be burning this fuel in a furnace to be more efficient with charcoal. Let's go ahead and do that. Hmm. Waste of a wood block. I don't care. We are out of control boards, so it is slow inserter crafting from here on out. Okay, there's uh, some automated stuff. Basically, all I gotta do is feed wood blocks directly into there, and it will make charcoal, which is more efficient. Every time you up these from the fiber to this to this, see this fiber gives you 
one mega jewel. And this takes 12. So it should be 12 mega jewels, but you get two of them. So you get 16. So it's 12 to 16 to whatever, you know, and then you charcoal it, you get even more. So every time you up it, you get more. But at least uh, the production's looking good, just as long as we can keep this boy fed with uh, wooden blocks. We'll have power. Oh no, see, we, we got problems up there. So, we really don't have uh, any electricity, as you can see. We just had to go take everything we did to the furnaces. Okay, I think this is a good stop, good point to end this episode at, boys. Um, we have uh, automated landfill production up. Uh, we have hand-fed power and hand-fed furnace. But other than that, uh, we're, we're doing we're doing good. And other than our power grid being dog shit, uh, yeah, this was a pretty good first episode. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next episode where we will try and make a good power setup of some kind. Bye.